Yes, good. you too. You too. How are you feeling? You know, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling yeah. good. I'm here. Good. You, I mean, you're not a stranger to this voting thing anymore no, each week. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I, is, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But it's cool that America, you know, has tweeted me in yet again. So it, say, it says something. You, you sang an Adele song. And most of the time when you sing an Adele song, it's like singing like a Beyonce song or maybe Beatles. Like sometimes yeah. you... Some person can't do it. First of all, you did do it. Thank you. And how did that feel after performance? You know, it was, it, it felt good. I felt kind of a, I was really riled up. I don't know if you could tell, but, uh, you know, after the performance, I was like, okay. There's a different Ray Vaughn than we're used to seeing. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think, um, I, I, I hope I came out of my show a little bit more this week with that song. And what can we expect you for next week? For next week, I should say. Well, next week is great because we get to do two songs. Okay. So, and it's classics week. So, I'm, I'm, you know, one song is really high energy, really funky, and that's that side. I don't, you know, I haven't done anything that high energy yet, so I'm really cool to show that. And then the other is really emotional, really vulnerable, you know, really a, a good song to connect with people and and show some creativity, and which I have shown, you know, kind of the emotional side. But I, but I'm I'm really hoping to to really draw people mm -hmm. in. So I think it'll be good. I think it'll be a good you know, both sides of who I am as an artist. I saw on Instagram, I saw you got a selfie stick. Are I you, got a selfie stick. Are you stick. obsessed with this? You know, I just got it today. Oh, okay. That was the first, literally the first time that I ever used it. And it was so, with Scott Porchetta, right? I, it was with Scott. Yeah, I was like, Scott, I got a selfie <laughs> stick. You know, so I need to be with it right now. I need it now. I need it this now. This is the perfect opportunity. It's, up, it's upstairs, oh. but I, I know. I need to get it. You should I should get have that and bring it, it back down. I know, so we can take selfies. Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> Go get it, bring it back down, we'll I'm do going. another one. <laughs> awesome. And then really quickly, what's the best piece of advice that your mentor gave you or the coaches gave you this week? You know, um, one thing that I was with Florida Georgia Line mm -hmm. this week, and he uh, gave me such a good piece of advice to just read the lyrics. You know, he had me read aloud. I don't even know if they show that in my package this week before my performance, but he had me read aloud. Um, the, the, just the words of the, of the verse and, and speak it aloud to, you know, as if, as if I was performing, but mm -hmm. just not to music, and which is something I've done before, but I hadn't really done in a while, and it kind of really brought me back, like, okay, to really how important the lyrics are to performing, and, and that's ultimately what you're trying to say is, is portray these lyrics and, and the emotion of that. So the way I speak it and the power it has behind me speaking it should be the, the, at least that amount of intensity when I sing it. You know, mm -hmm. singing is supposed to just amplify that and amplify that specific emotion. So that was the coolest thing that I learned and that I took away from it that I'm gonna do on every song from here on out. I love it. Well, next week, let's not have you in the Twitter votes, right? Me. Please, America, vote me through so I won't have to go through that again. <laughs> you, hear the, you hear the man himself. <laughs>